They're the generation who've been written off as self-obsessed, selfie-taking snowflakes. Not exactly soldier material, but the British Army says gamers drive and phone zombies focus are exactly what they need. We're not looking for people of any less quality. Our standards have not reduced in any way. What we're trying to do is show that uh, anyone, no matter what their background, where they come from, um, there are opportunities for them in the army. There are skills that they might not even know they possess uh, that we can unlock uh, in terms of potential uh, and make the most of in the military. Can't get off that thing. Up all night, he is. Stamina. The new recruitment campaign aims to challenge the labels given to young people. One of Britain's top gamers says the skills they have can often be overlooked. Team games today require amazing coordination and teamwork and strategy and communication. That These are amazing skills that gamers are learning every day by playing. These are exactly who the army should be attracting. But it seems the army's messaging may not quite be on target. It seems a bit contradictory to, to say, like, we want to recruit you, but, like, maybe try and use your laziness in a way that we can actually <laughs> um, make use of. It's almost going to make us almost not rebel, but just, like, not take them seriously. It's pretty fair, because that's what we do, I reckon. It's not really patronising at all. Kids need to get off their phones. But Army ambassadors hope the controversial twist on Lord Kitchener's call to arms won't be lost on all millennials. I think the poster campaign is going to divide opinion. I think some people will look at it as a detrimental labelling of young people, but I also think that if the wording around it is that we in the Army see you as more than that, I think it can, can be a very positive tool. Millennials, useless. But they may have a battle on their hands to convince today's teenagers to sign up. Martha Fairley, ITV News.